Hey guys, I'm an Australian living in Belarus, but I'm back in Australia today. In fact, for a fortnight and in my native city, my Radnoy Gorat, Melbourne. And today I'm going to make two videos. One video is going to be about why Australia is better than Belarus, or kind of, kind of Australia and Belarus, but also kind of Melbourne and Minsk, right? And then also another video, why Belarus uh, is better than Australia, or why kind of Minsk is, is better than Melbourne. So, first one is why is Australia uh, better than Belarus, or what are some pros of living in Australia? First one is just much higher incomes. Uh, this is the one everyone's aware of, but I think there's a lot of kind of fantasies and bullshit kind of floating around in this regards. But let's just put some numbers to it today and talk about it in a more realistic situation. Now, you know, the average income in Australia, nominal income before prices, it was probably 10 times higher than Belarus. That's just the reality of it. Uh, maybe eight, eight or 10 times higher than Belarus. Now, once you adjust for prices, which are maybe three times higher, you know, the average income in Australia is gonna be pushing close to three times higher, yeah? Three times higher. Let me turn you guys around. I'll take you for a bit of a walk. I'm in the city center of Melbourne today. Give you guys a bit of a uh, dose of reality. Let's put you in as 1.1 zoom. So yeah, once you account for prices, I mean, you'd be looking at a, a I think it's 2.7 from memory, but yeah, it's almost three times higher living standards. So to get a sense, if you're in Australia now, to get a sense of what it's like living in Belarus, divide your salary by three, and that's kind of what you get. Uh, and the main difference there would just be that you're living in an apartment, not a house. I mean, that would be the, the practical difference in a place like Melbourne. That would be the difference, um, the main difference. Um, then uh, in the inverse, if you're in uh, Belarus and uh, you want to get a sense of what it's like to live in Australia, then you would triple your salary. That would be roughly what it's like. So keep the prices, everything the same, times your salary by whatever, 2.7 or 3. That will give you a good sense of what it's like here. Now, of course... The housing situation in the West has gone a bit funny because um, we do have this kind of engineered uh, migration situations which just put incredible strain, especially in big cities, puts a lot of strain, especially in nicer areas, livable areas. They can really accelerate in terms of price growth and then you end up living kind of in the middle of nowhere uh, and still paying a lot. So that kind of complicates things, whereas Belarus, obviously, housing's quite cheap, really. I mean, once you get outside of... Uh, Outside of Minsk, I mean, it's really cheap outside of Minsk. Even in Minsk, it's not exactly expensive most of the time. So let me, I'll just keep walking down here. I might go down to Flinders Street. Um, so yeah, incomes are higher uh, in Australia. Uh, second thing would be the weather. Now, of course, Australia's weather varies a lot, yeah? So in Minsk, in Belarus, it's just the same weather. It's just your typical four seasons with a pretty freaking cold winter, but not crazy cold. It's not like, you know, far north of Russia cold, right? But it's cold. Um, whereas Melbourne here, it's actually kind of the same in a sense, like it's four seasons, but the winter season is um, not as brutally cold, right? So that's kind of the difference, essentially. Whereas in the north, it's wet season, dry season, right? It's kind of uh, always warm, just degrees of warm, and whether it's raining or not, essentially. That's kind of tropical weather. Whereas in the south here, particularly in Melbourne, it's more like Minsk, but in the winter, of course, it rains. Whereas in the winter in Belarus, it doesn't rain, right? because it's too cold. So that's kind of a bonus. And for me, honestly, once it's five degrees, I've got my jacket on, I don't give a shit if it's five or minus 15, really. It doesn't make that much difference. You just put a thicker jacket on and not much changes, yeah? That's just the freaking reality of it. So that's the second thing. Um, where the third thing that I'll point out are the array of restaurants. Man, just the quality of restaurants here, the aggressive competition in the restaurant market. Holy shit. It is, uh, you just get so much delicious food, honestly. I might take you, uh, no, we'll go straight for now. Um, yeah, delicious restaurants, expensive, obviously, but, um, you know, you just get such a wide range of high quality food. And uh, again, this kind of hyper competition um, in the food and restaurant market has just led to this, uh, uh, just really high quality restaurants, um, delicious food. Innovative, delicious food is great. And finally, when you're living in uh, Australia, your actual living quarters, your house, it's just going to be probably bigger as well. Like, you're going to probably live in a house. And, um, whereas uh, Europe, um, including Belarus, you got more of a, more of an apartment culture. And look, man, having grown up in houses and being used to houses, when I say houses, I'm talking about, you know, decent size, like, you know, 150 square 
to 300 square just for a typical kind of house, you kind of you know enjoy the space of your right and you feel it's a bit crammed in the apartments. I mean, you can adjust, but it's one probably classic difference of I guess the Anglo sphere versus Europe that we do tend to have these uh, more spacious houses, bigger land, and so forth. Of course, that comes with downside, it's harder to get around and you know, less convenient, and blah blah blah. But the houses themselves are much bigger, so you can fill those out with, with uh, all this kind of extra stuff as well, right? So, there are four things that are, are better about Australia. I'll now make a video telling you some things that are better about Belarus.